This is Mark, head of customer education here at ClickFunnels. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can set up an email whitelist instructions page, just like you see here. The purpose of this is that to have a page where you can send users after they opt in and ask them to whitelist your sending email. So that way you can make sure that those emails get inboxed, which is going to increase your open rate as well as your click through rate. So I'm going to show you kind of how this page functions. I click on Gmail if that's what I use and it would take me to the Gmail instructions or if I'm using a spam filter such as one of these, Thunderbird for my email client and it will scroll me all the way down to this page. So if I click top here, it would take me back up to the top. And so this is actually a ClickFunnels page and uh, I'm gonna show you how you can set this up just like this. So in order to generate your own whitelisting instructions, I would recommend using the tool from Email Delivery Jedi, which is a website of Chris Lane. And he's one that has consulted a lot with us here at ClickFunnels on email deliverability. And this tool makes it very easy to create these email whitelist instructions. So I'm gonna include this link below this video so you can go there and, and use this tool. What you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down here, you're gonna enter your email from text. So this is gonna be your from name and your from email. Your brand name. And then you're gonna scroll down and you're going to click create my whitelist. So there are some instructions that you can do for um, adding this to another, any other page. It's a little bit different in order to add it to ClickFunnels though. So as you can see here, I now have my whitelist instructions. I'm gonna to go to my ClickFunnels account. I'm going to add a new funnel. And you can add this as, an, as a page in an existing funnel that you have. You can add it as a new funnel. And basically what you're gonna be doing is uh, linking to this page on your thank you pages and confirmation pages after somebody opts in to encourage them to whitelist your email address. So I'm gonna build this new funnel here. Now when you build this page, you can, you can make it look however you want. However, um, the best way to do this is to uh, use something with a white background. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and use a, a blank opt-in page template. And I'm going to open this page in the editor. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually make this top section kind of my branding here. So let's go ahead and just make that a header. You can make this background color whatever you want here. And then I'm gonna delete the text. And let's just go ahead and add a logo here. This can be my branded page. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add a ClickFunnels logo to this page. Um, I'm actually gonna change this background color. Let's go back to maybe a lighter shade of gray, something like that, there we go. Now I'm gonna add a new section below here. And I'm going to change this to full page. I'm gonna add a new row and that's gonna be a single column block. I'm gonna add a new element and I'm gonna use the custom JS HTML element. So now I have everything I need on this page and I'm going to go back to my whitelist instructions that I have generated. I'm going to need to view the source of the page. So this is gonna depend on the browser that you're using, but if you, uh, this is typically found under developer tools or something like that. So I'm using Chrome so I can go to developer and click view source, or you can use the keyboard shortcut to view the source. And this is gonna pull up the page source code. Now you're going to see a lot of code on this page. And right here, when you first view the source code, you're gonna see some CSS. I've included the CSS that you'll need down below. So you can copy it from this article and paste it into the CSS settings of your page. I'm gonna go into my page and I'm gonna paste that into the custom CSS settings here. Then I'm gonna go back to the page source 
and I'm going to copy from line 221 where it says center and I'm going to copy All right, so you're gonna finish scrolling right about here at line 1268. You're gonna copy that. You're gonna go into your page and you're gonna paste that in the custom JS HTML element. Now, a couple other things you can do here is you're gonna to wanna to copy this script from line 1271 all the way down to 1297. I've also included this script below. And so you're gonna paste this into the tracking code settings. So I'm actually gonna remove that that was there. There's another script that you can add here as well that I'll include, and this is courtesy of Winter Jones from FunnelPlugins.com. And this is gonna make this uh, scrolling on this page smooth when somebody clicks on one of those links. And so that is all you need to add to this page. Optionally, you can kind of scroll back up to the top here and you'll see that these meta properties, the description has also been generated here, so you can copy that description. And you can add the description under your meta tags, under the description. You can also copy the page title. You can also get the, there's an image here, if you want to add this image, it looks like this and this can be added to the social image here. And then you can add your name. Click save. And then preview. So once somebody comes to this page, they'll be able to see their whitelisting instructions right here on the page. When somebody clicks on it, it's gonna use that smooth scrolling script to scroll down, and then it'll scroll right back up to the top. And that's how you set up your email whitelist instructions page.